is a Warhammer 40,000 Tau Empire Pathfinder team. This is a sadly unpainted Pathfinder kill team. The same thing, but with extra parts and cool specialists. And this is a Protogen Pathfinder kill team. First off, this video will be split into three parts. The lore and why I chose Pathfinders, how I made them and how you could make them, and going over the team and how I painted them. So I've been wanting to make a Protogen 40k model for a while, and when I eventually got around to making it, Twitter seemed to really like them. But they also had a lot of questions, so I thought I'd answer them all here. So let's start with... Why Pathfinders? On the surface, you might think that Mechanicus Skatari might be a better pick. They are literally cyborgs, just like Progens, and the joke is that they like toasters. They really like toasters. But lore-wise, the Imperium HATES ALIENS! And I don't think these guys can pass for Beastmen, or Felonids for that matter. Also, Felonids aren't really allowed off their homeworld, so, uh... Just looking at the Progen lore, they make way more sense as Tau Auxiliaries. The Tau Empire hire alien mercenaries all the time, and they just have auxiliary species. On top of that, they're generally more high-tech than the Imperium. Imperium, matching the Progens. And why Pathfinder specifically, and not something like a Fire Warrior? Well, Pathfinders are the scouts and vanguard of the Tau. I think it would make sense for this task to be given to a more specialized mercenary team instead of them being the backbone of the army. Progens are known for traveling the stars. And, well, Pathfinders have a kill team kit, which means they get all the cool upgrades, so that's the actual reason. With the background out of the way, how did I make them? Well, originally I was gonna pay somebody to repose the NKD model in Blender and export that as an STL, but after that I tried to print Tau bodies and put Progen heads on them, and then I tried printing out Tau arms, and, and, and that was a big waste of time, and I wasted a bunch of money, and ah! But then I just looked at my dice holder, chopped off his arms just to see if 25mm scale arms would fit, and they did! Kinda. They are a bit big and make them look a little heroic scale, but I like heroic scale, so yay! And if you wanted to do this, I just resin printed the free Progen dice holder STL I found on Thingiverse at 50% scale. I don't even have a printer, I just know a place where you could pay to have things printed for you. I tried to use Tau arms for my bits box, but I didn't have enough. So I used Mantic GCPS trooper arms and they fit pretty well. And now for the team. Also, I did not have enough time to paint the faces because I wanted these guys to be ready by TFS. And they were, and I ended up playing kill team at a furry convention, so that was fun. But yeah, onto the team. Also, sorry for my pronunciations of some Tau words. So we got the Shaz Yu Pathfinder, aka the Sergeant of the Squad. We got the Assault Grenade Pathfinder. On the normal Grenade Pathfinder, his uh, launcher is just under his gun, but I thought it was cooler to give him a separate uh, launcher. Also, he has a tail bag, and I think that's cool. Here we have the Blooded Pathfinder, represented by Toaster Tom. He's different because he has a hat. Yes, the hat is way too big, I'm printing out a smaller one, but yeah. Here's the Marksman Pathfinder, and yes, that is definitely a railgun and not just a pulse rifle with two marker lights strapped to the side. The Drone Controller Pathfinder, in blue. I'm probably gonna add like a backpack to him eventually, and here's his drones. They're not really special, they're just Tau drones. The Medic! His Medic arm is actually a Traitor Guardsman arm, and he has a little backpack. Here's Danny, the Transpectral Interface Pathfinder. Uh, basically, he could see you even if you're in cover. We have the Communication Specialist Pathfinder, represented by Pepper. I thought about giving them all Tau ear pieces, but I didn't have enough, so this guy's the only one who has one. And in yellow fur, the Weapon Expert Pathfinder, with an ion rifle. Yes, I know that's not an ion rifle, and yes, that is his arm. He will never drop his gun on the battlefield. Don't worry, Progens are modular, so he could have his normal arm back whenever. And of course, the Shaz Law Pathfinder, represented by me, who's the only Pathfinder without a specialization. He is pretty <laughs> generic. But yeah, that's the team. Honestly, I'm really considering magnetizing a progen head and putting them on a battle suit, but that's later. And for painting, uh, I, I honestly just paid them like any other uh, Warhammer model I have, which was just a base coat and a wash. There's plenty of painting tutorials, and the schemes are more interesting than what I actually did to get them. But yeah, I'm gonna paint the bases and the faces of these guys. But until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!